Hi there, the questions in this video are all about the Asian green mussel, scientifically known as Pernaviridis which is popularly cultured and sold in the local markets in the Philippines. The 40 questions included in this video were taken from numerous publications. Now let's get started. Number 1, where is the native distribution range of the green mussel, Pernaviridis? A. Caribbean Sea B. Pacific Ocean C. Mediterranean D. Indo-Pacific Ocean The answer is, letter D, Indian Ocean. Green mussel, Pernaviridis is native to the Indian Ocean, specifically to the waters of the Indian subcontinent and Southeast Asia. Number 2, which chemical compound primarily makes up the shell of mussels? A. Calcium bicarbonate B. Bicarbonate C. Calcium hydroxide D. Calcium carbonate The answer is, letter D, calcium carbonate. Number 3, what is the scientific name of the green mussel? A. Mytilus italis B. Trochus niloticus C. Pernaviridis D. Crassostria gigas The answer is, letter, C. Pernaviridis Number 4, which of the following is the most common way in which mussels are sold in the Philippines? A. Fresh and alive B. Canned C. Dried and salted D. Frozen The answer is, letter A, fresh and alive. Mussels are commonly sold fresh and alive in the Philippines, often in wet markets or seafood markets. They are typically kept alive in shallow tanks of seawater until they are purchased by customers. Number 5, what is the habitat preference of the green mussel in the Philippines? A. Freshwater rivers B. Deep sea trenches C. Sandy beaches D. Estuaries and coastal waters The answer is, letter D, mussels prefer the estuaries and coastal areas. Number 6, what is the primary mode of reproduction of the green mussel? A. Asexual B. Sexual C. Both asexual and sexual D. None of the above The answer is, letter B, this means that mussels reproduce sexually. Number 7, what is the economic importance of the green mussel in the Philippines? A. They are used as a food source. B. They are used in pharmaceuticals. C. They are used in bioremediation. D. All of the above. The answer is, letter A, mussels are primarily used as food. Number 8, what is the average growth rate of the green mussel in the Philippines? A. 1 to 2 centimeters per month. B3 to 4 cm per month. C5 to 6 cm per month. D7 to 8 cm per month. The answer is, letter A, mussels can grow 1 to 2 cm per month. Number 9, what is the commercial value of the green mussel in the Philippines? A, 10 to 20 pesos per kilogram. B, 30 to 40 pesos per kilogram. C, 50 to 60 pesos per kilogram. D, 70 to 80 pesos per kilogram. The answer is, letter C, mussels are usually sold at 50 to 60 pesos per kilogram. Number 10, what is the ecological role of the green mussel in the Philippines? A, they are a keystone species. B, they are a top predator. C, they are a filter feeder. D, they are a decomposer. The answer is, letter C, mussels as filter feeders can help purify the water. Number 11, what is the ideal salinity range for the green mussels? A. 20 to 25 ppt. B. 2735 ppt. C. 36 to 38 ppt. D. 35 to 40 ppt. The answer is, letter B, mussels grows best at 27 to 35 ppt. Number 12, what is the optimal water temperature range for the green mussels? A. 20 to 25 degrees Celsius B. 25 to 30 degrees Celsius C. 30 to 35 degrees Celsius D. 35 to 40 degrees Celsius The answer is, letter A, mussels would best grow at 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. Number 13, what is the spawning season of the green mussel in the Philippines? A. November to February B. March to June C. July to October. D. Year-round. 
The answer is, letter D, spawning is year-round with peaks during April to May, then September to October. Number 14, what is the favorable water depth for green mussel farming? A, 1 to 5 meters. B, 2 to 10 meters. C, 3 to 15 meters. D, 4 to 8 meters. The answer is, letter B, mussel farming is usually carried out at 2 to 10 meters deep waters. Number 15, what is the potential impact of green mussel farming on the environment? A, nutrient enrichment of water bodies. B, alteration of natural habitats. C, introduction of non-native species. D, all of the above. The answer is, letter D, mussel farming can have several impacts on the environment. Number 16, what is the duration of green mussel culture in the Philippines? A, 1 to 3 months. B, 4 to 5 months. C, 6 to 7 months. D, 8 to 10 months. The answer is, letter D, mussels can be harvested after 8 to 10 months. Number 17, what is the common culture method for green mussel in the Philippines? A, hanging culture. B, bottom culture. C. Steak method. D. All of the above. The answer is, letter D. All of the above. Green mussel culture in the Philippines can be done using various methods, including hanging culture, bottom culture, tray, wigwam, and raft culture. Number 18. What is the larval stage of green mussels? A. Trocophore. B. D. Villager. C. Pet I villager. D. Spat. The answer is, letter A, the larval stage of green mussels is called trochophore, which typically lasts for two to three days. Number 19, what is the settlement stage of green mussels? A, trochophore. B, D, villager. C, pet I villager. D, spat. The answer is, letter D. The settlement stage of green mussels is called spat. Number 20, what is the main diet of green mussels? A. Phytoplankton and detritus. B. Sediment. C. Seagrass. D. Seaweeds. The answer is, letter A, green mussels, mainly feed on detritus and phytoplankton. Number 21, which culture method directly involved the growing of mussel on the bottom? A. Steak method. B. Raft method. C. Hanging method. D. Bottom method. The answer is, letter D, bottom method. Number 22, cultured mussel can reach 5 to 10 centimeters after which months? A, 2 to 4 months. B, 5 to 7 months. C, 6 to 10 months. D, 8 to 9 months. The answer is, letter C, mussels can reach 5 to 10 centimeters in 6 to 10 months of rearing. Number 23, which one should be avoided when harvesting the farmed green mussel? A. Directly pulling the mussel from the substrate. B. Use of sharp scraper to cull the bissel thread. C. Do not expose the harvested mussel in the sun. D. None of the above. The answer is, letter A. Directly pulling the mussel directly will damage the bissel thread and the flesh of the mussel which will result in loss of moisture and death. Number 24, which country has the longest history of mussel culture which dates back as early as 1235? A. France. B. Spain. C. Netherlands. D. Belgium. The answer is, letter A, France has the longest history of mussel culture dating back in 1235. Number 25, when did mussel culture started in the Philippines? A. 1962. B. 1972. C. 1952. D. 1982. The answer is, letter A, mussel farming started in 1962 in the Binacayan Demonstration Oyster Farm in Cavita. Number 26, what is the color of the gonad of mature female mussels? A. Reddish apricot. B. Creamy. C. Yellowish. D. Greenish. The answer is, Letter A, the gonad of mature female is reddish apricot in color. Number 27, at what age does green mussel reach its sexual maturity? A, 4 months. B, 6 months. C, 10 months. D, 12 months. 
The answer is, letter D, muscle becomes sexually mature within a year or 12 months after hatching. Number 28, which is not a threat to muscle farming in the Philippines. A. Pollution. B. Urbanization. C. Occurrence of red tide. D. None of the above. The answer is, letter D, there are plenty of threats to muscle farming which include pollution, urbanization, and red tide bloom among others. Number 29, success in muscle farming depends on the following except. A. Good sea water quality. B. Sufficient food, planktonic organisms. C. Sheltered areas. D. Strong water current. The answer is, letter D, it is not advisable to culture muscle in areas having strong water current. Number 30, which part of Palawan does muscle farming exist? A. Balabac Island. B. Karan Island. C. Honda Bay. D. Malampaya Sound. The answer is letter D. Muscle farming has only been successfully undertaken in Malampaya Sound. Number 31. Where do wild green mussels naturally occurs? A. Littoral Zone. B. Oceanic Zone. C. Pelagic Zone. D. Benthic Zone. The answer is, letter A. Muscle naturally occur at the littoral zone. Number 32. The growth of the mussel shells is influenced by the following except. A. Food availability. B. Temperature. C. Competition for space. D. None of the above. The answer is, letter D, none of the above, the growth of muscle can be affected by the presence of food, temperature, and density among others. Number 33, which is not a suitable site for muscle culture. A. Well-protected or sheltered coves and bays. B. Sites affected by strong wind and big waves. C. Presence of natural muscle spats. D. Accessibility to land and water transportation. The answer is, letter B, sites affected by strong winds and big waves not suitable for muscle culture. Number 34, which practice involved the placing of harvested mussels into tanks filled with high-quality water so they will purge any impurities? A, purification. B, filtration. C, depuration. D, osmoregulation. The answer is, letter C, depuration. Number 35, which is not true about bottom culture method of muscle. A. Requires minimum investment. B. Highly vulnerable to siltation. C. Not affected by heavy predation. D. Low yields per unit culture area. The answer is, letter C. Not affected by heavy predation. Number 36. Which factor affects muscle production in the Philippines? A. Reliance on natural spatfall. B. Environmental degradation. C. Socioeconomic issues. D. All of the above. The answer is, letter D, all of the above. Number 37, which global land area dominates the world's muscle production? A. Asia. B. Europe. C. Oceania. D. America. The answer is, letter A, Asia. Number 38, which one is not a species of mussel in the Philippines? A. Perniviridis. B. Modiolus metcafei. C. Modiolus philippinarum. D. Pernicanaliculus. The answer is, letter D, Pernicanaliculus. Number 39, which one is not true about mussel farming in the Philippines? A. Mussel farming is dominated by small-scale farmers. B. Brown mussels are not suitable for farming. C. The size of mussel farm ranges between 0.5 to 5 ha. D. None of the above. The answer is, letter, D. None of the above. Number 40. Which statement is true about green mussels? A. They have two distinct life stages, free-swimming planktonic or larval stage and a sessile adult stage. B. The free-swimming larvae remains planktonic for 7 to 15 days depending upon the water temperature, food supply, and availability of settling materials. C. At about 2 to 5 weeks old, the larvae, 0.25 to 0.3 millimeters, seek a suitable substrate to settle on and final metamorphosis takes place, changing its internal organ structure to the adult form. D. All of the above. The answer is, letter D, all of the above.
That's all for now. Thanks for watching.